yo, I think they're shooting over there. This, look. So, this is where, like, technically I live. Like, we live in the woods, guys. It is crazy. So, this is, like, a nature preserve type of stuff. But I know you guys came for this one. So, you guys been asking me how much it was to swap the car. And I'm going to tell you right now how much it was to swap. Uh, So, we live in Florida. Yes, we have, like, a whole bunch of love bugs. Sorry the car is, like, super dirty. It's been raining every single day. I know. It's, like, blue skies right now. But trust me and, like... Give it an hour. It'll be it'll be dark. Damn! Look at this. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. So it says you are in bear country, and there's like a park, and I guess you can go hiking or something like that. Let's go explore a little bit, guys. Look at that. You guys can see. It's like all oh, it goes all the way over there. It's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna come back and just. Yeah, I'm gonna come back tomorrow actually. All right, guys, so this is my 7th gen, 2009 7th gen Nissan Maxima. It is swapped, six-speed transmission. So you guys already know, we need the transmission from a 2008-2012 Nissan Altima 3.5 manual. That's what you're going to use for this car. And that's roughly going to run you about, I mean, I got mine for $650. My mechanic got it for me, so, but you guys can check online. I think eBay has them, uh, LKQ also has them and just different places you can check online or ask the mechanic all right i'm gonna go into the shade because it is way too sunny here in florida but but yeah you're gonna need a starter as well try to go oem so you have no problems and the starter i mean i got it used from lkq motors it run me about like 62 dollars 63 dollars around there now we did the flywheel we got it from this Warman's. we got the flywheel the clutch that whole package that ran me about 800 bucks oh another thing these prices will fluctuate you can get it for more you can get it for less it just depends but that's what i'm getting that's what i got my things around there you know i try to do the best i can to go exact so you also gonna need a clutch pedal don't mind that i'm trying to work out some things with the car whatever but yeah so you're gonna need the clutch pedal so it is bolted up i don't know if you guys can see that it's bolted up right there so i got this actually from chris i forgot i think it's like 180 dollars that he that he got it for me he has another 7 gen maxima that is actually 6 feet swap so he gave it to me or he sold it to me because he wasn't going to swap it but then he thought about it and then he was actually gonna swap it but i already have bought this one so but i got it from him so shout out to you bro because honestly these clutch pedals are pretty hard to find the shifter assembly i actually also got it from lkq motors um that ran me about 67 bucks brand new from nissan is about like 400 dollars. no like two or two to four hundred dollars brand new but i got it used from uh wrecked ultima uh lkq motors um like i said i'm going to show you guys i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys we do have a short shifter the throws are super short like because if you had like the regular freaking you gotta go all the way to the radio so that's a problem get a short shifter it's gonna be so much better for you and that way you don't have to cut like into the cup holders and you know you can go into reverse because that was a problem we were having we couldn't go like into six gear or we couldn't go into like reverse first because reverse first is all the way over here so i didn't want him to cut more than he needed so i talked to my tuner gerson and he hooked me up with a short shifter so we got a short shifter for the car and honestly it feels amazing so the short shifter is kind of dirty i don't know why i think i got water through here but yeah that is the short shifter right here and that's the other one so these are the pieces that you need to connect it to that that cable goes to the the shifter itself so after you get that you're gonna need the shifter cable which is pretty much this guy right here this little black thing here so these are the shifter cables that's why it goes to like the short shifter whatever so there's one here and there's one down there that goes to your manual transmission so manual transmission right there so that shifter cable okay so i'm gonna just let you know i got the short shifter i mean i got the shifter cable i got the trans mount bracket which is right there you guys can see it that's the transmission mount bracket slash motor mount so between the shifter cable the transmission mount um all the little bolts all the little stuff that you need like you know you guys will see it because i'm gonna show you the parts list that ran me about 386 390 dollars just for all that next up you're gonna need the driver's side axle this is from o'reilly's it is import direct i got this one because that's the one my tuner's running he got the really really fast <laughs> 7 gen maxima that swapped but yeah the driver's side axle is about 125 dollars. you can get it from o'reilly's import direct and being static look how low we are like 
yeah now you go into the passenger axle remember guys for the passenger axle don't mind the dirty wheel i gotta clean it i know you're gonna need the maxima outer ultima inner and combine them together so i got my maxima outer and i got the whole thing both of them from lkq i got them from there and that was about the maxima 61 dollars the ultima 79 dollars for the axle and then my mechanic combined them both took them apart combined them and we're good so i'm actually looking for an extra axle just in case this one pops one day so yeah these axles are super rare super hard to find and you have to use oem because you got to combine them both you cannot use aftermarket axles it has to be oem axles and get that and now they actually discontinued from nissan so you got to source it from a wrecked car or whatever and try to find it this one i got lucky i saw an lkq i saw it and as soon as i saw it i bought it no thinking no nothing i just got it and it arrived and it fit and it worked just like the clutch pedal is also hard to find so those are the main things that you should try to get if you want to do the swap now we're going to the good stuff you guys see those cables right there this little silver line with the black cables and all that that goes to the reservoir so that is actually an upgraded kit so i got a cnc metal plate in the transmission for the clutch better feel way more durable so i got that because the one that comes with the transmission is actually plastic and can break just like the 370z's they do break so that whole kit is actually an upgraded kit that my tuner sells he actually sells them he makes them he sells them and this is what pretty much almost every single person that has swapped the maxima that's what they run that's about 950 dollars. but it, trust me you have peace of mind it won't break you'll be chilling you'll be good that is about 950 dollars. but actually he's doing a group buy right now there's a whole bunch of people who want it and he's looking for more people that way it's cheaper for you guys so if you guys want to buy it and just have it you know or you have a swap maxima and you want to buy it Trust me, it is very good. It's durable. You can beat on the car. It won't break. It's not plastic. It's actually a metal, not like the one that Nissan sells. So the kit comes with a custom CNC bracket, metal slave, metal master, three stainless steel, three AN line with a heat protected cover and all the hardware and fittings that you need to install it. So you get the whole kit. You don't need nothing else. It is an upgrade and you will love it. So when I tell you guys, I spent money on this and I got the best of the best. This is the best of the best. So he's doing the group buy. If you guys also have an Altima, that's a manual. Because obviously this is a manual transmission from an Altima. Guys, hit him up and it's the same kit for your cars. That connects to the master. So this is the master. I got an OEM from Nissan. That ran me about 80 to $81 that's a 370z reservoir that's what you guys need this one right here and then i do have my transmission oil i didn't go oem i went with redline i'm gonna put the the little image right here i went with this one and then also for my clutch fluid i went with freaking most motul modal whatever you call it i forgot i can't even say the name also the shift boot that you guys will you guys see this is actually the oem shift boot this came with the shift boot came with a shift knob so it, all, it came the whole package so it's all good you know i got it i'm gonna switch it for like a really good one but i need something that fits something custom now we also got our e-brake this is our emergency brake when you press it two days later yeah it takes a little bit so the car you know right now it's off and then we click it there you go that little beeping noise you guys can take it off you don't have to my mechanic just left it on and i don't feel like taking this apart to cut the the little speaker out so well, the short shifter it is i think it cost me 140 dollars shipped now you guys seen the car shoot flames like this <laughs> It shoot flames because I got the headers. You guys can see the headers there with the wrap and all that, blah, blah, blah. So the headers actually cost me about $300. I got that from Angel on the forums. So guys, actually, these headers are now really hard to find. But it's like about $300. Uh, the header wrap was about like $30. So that's what I'm using. I ceramic coated it and I wrapped the header so it can be good. You know, it doesn't get too hot in there. So last, I think that we got... It's a tune. <laughs> we got to get the tune. So this car is actually tuned. Thank you, Gerson, for tuning my car. So, okay, guys, here's the thing. You can get the tune. You can get the upgraded CNC kit, clutch kit for the car. You can get the tune 
the slave kit, all the upgraded kits, whatever. You can get that from Gerson at 835 underscore 6MT. You can get it from him. Hit him up. He can get you the tune. He can get you everything. So, well, not everything. Obviously, not the whole swap. But he can help you guys out a lot. Just make sure if you're going to tune the car, you can tune it on CVT. You can tune it on a 6B transmission. Hit him up and he can tune you well. Your car will last. Your car will do good. This car has been on a tune for months. And it's been doing perfect so much better than when it was stock i mean obviously a swap but when i had my cvt and it was tuned so much better so guys hit them up and tune your car with him the price is so much better than these people charging 1200 dollars for a tune and you gotta wait months before you can tune your car he'll be ready for you real quick and he can do remote tuning so all you need is a laptop and he'll send you the tune upload it to the car and just like Go back and forth and just like that the tune for the car run you about 960 dollars but it is so worth it compared to every other tuner that tunes these cars one you should go with gerson because he tunes cvt cars and manual transmission cars but the best thing about it is he'll actually take care of your car he if you want a flame map he's not just gonna put a flame map that will destroy your car so he's gonna tell you what you need to do flames and you so you don't freaking grenade the engine or your freaking exhaust and transmission so that's a good thing about him that he will actually take care of you and whenever you need him he'll be there so it won't be months of waiting weeks of waiting like a big of line like a big old line waiting for people to finish tuning their cars or whatever so hit him up tell him i sent you that you saw the white maximum with blue wheels <laughs> 960 dollars remote tuned shipped like no freaking taxes like that or anything so hey, that's the final price shipped and it actually comes with the cable, the upper license, the arc license, and five maps. Some people charge you extra for the arc license, but his is included with everything that I just told you guys that you can tune the car with. And it comes with five maps. Race map, verbal tune, flames map, valet mode map, and anti-theft map. So I, already, I use every single map. <laughs> All right, the moment you guys have been waiting for, I've been talking too much. How much was the total to swap the car? Okay, are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? I'm gonna tell you something. Once you do swaps, motor swaps, transmission swaps, whatever swap you wanna do, modify car, it is not cheap. I went with OEM parts. I went with good things. I didn't cheap out. I didn't want no problems with the car. So I paid the price. I paid what I had to and the car is flawless. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. I know you love me. In total parts, including headers, it is five thousand four hundred and seventy six dollars for parts just parts but remember i also i got all the oem parts i didn't cheap out i paid extra for for like the little things i paid extra because i didn't want no problems with it and also check which mechanic is going to work on your car get a good mechanic because i've heard stories of cars getting swapped people doing it wrong and then when it's out the car doesn't work like at all it won't start it won't do anything that happened to like a guy in like washington or something like that i don't even remember if you guys have the headers or whatever it's like five thousand one hundred and seventy six dollars that's no headers but with the headers you know add an extra 300 now my labor now the labor of the car is a little bit high because we got we got new boots new bushings i changed the motor mounts i changed i did a whole refresh on the car so yeah like i told you motor mounts bushings everything axle boots uh end link uh not end link freaking sway bar bushings like i did a whole bunch of stuff and i upgraded everything to brand new because obviously the car has over two hundred thousand miles and yeah so my labor including headers i also had the headers installed by them because i couldn't do it so <laughs> i had it installed so that bumped it up like five hundred dollars so with the headers my labor was four thousand one hundred and sixty five dollars no headers if you don't do headers and you do exactly what i did it is three thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars now if you don't do like all the motor mounts the bushings like all that all that extra little stuff i did for the car if you don't do that you'll be around two thousand dollars for labor two thousand to three thousand dollars for labor depending on the person but that's how much it cost me so in total with the headers nine thousand six hundred and forty one dollars i just spent on swapping this car and no headers is eight thousand seven hundred and ninety one dollars let that sink in just for a transmission swap nine thousand dollars <laughs> but it's well worth it because i love this car but just look at her she is 6 feet swap there's like only this is one out of like 15 20 cars that are swapped in the whole freaking world so there's like a super rare car 
at least that's the way i like to make myself feel better i tell myself there's a rare car there's only like 20 of them ever built <laughs> like 15 20 of them ever built in the world yeah why you swap it honestly because i couldn't see myself in another car that freaking made me happy as like like this one and i just love it i'm in love with it roughly about roughly anywhere from seven thousand to nine thousand dollars that's what you're going to spend depending on what parts you get where you go how you do it and what you do all right so we switched to the gopro guys and i'm gonna show you guys how the car goes the windows down a little bit i'm not gonna launch it completely i don't want to break anything but i'm just gonna soft feet Watch my channel. It's pretty cool. <laughs> 